In module seven and eight, we're going to look at four specific types of problems. Two of the types of problems are interested in looking at the mean of a numerical variable in a population. The other two problems are looking at the proportion of a categorical variable in a population. In each of these cases, we're going to look at two different kinds of processes for saying something meaningful about that parameter. One is a hypothesis test. The other is a confidence interval. These four problems have some similarities, but each one of them is somewhat different. The important thing for you to be able to do is to recognize which one of the four problems you have, and then be able to apply the appropriate technique to that problem. I'd like to suggest a process for you to identify which of the four types of problems you have. First begin by carefully reading the problem. Identify what the population is and what the variable is in that population that you're interested in. Once you know what the variable is, numerical variable and a mean makes sense, then possibly the parameter of interest is a mean. On the other hand, categorical variable, a binary categorical variable, then very possibly the proportion of the population in that category would make. And finally, you'll need to identify whether you've got a hypothesis test or whether you're supposed to calculate confidence. In, in the case that you've got a hypothesis test, you're going to need to translate the words in the problem to a mathematical statement about that hypothesis. A concern was raised in Australia that the percentage of deaths of Aboriginal prisoners was higher than the percent of deaths of non-Aboriginal. The population, of course, are Aboriginal prisoners in Australia. The variable is a categorical variable. Did they die while they were in prison? The parameter is the proportion of the Aboriginal prisoners who died in prison. Now, from what we've read, we can't tell whether we we're supposed to do a hypothesis test or whether we we're supposed to do a confidence interval. A hypothesis test problem could be phrased like this. Do the data provide enough evidence to show that the proportion of deaths of Aboriginal prisoners is more than the proportion of deaths of non-Aboriginal prisoners? So we need to be able to translate that into a mathematical hypothesis. So if P is the population proportion, now remember our population is the aboriginal prisoners, and we want to know the proportion of, of them who died in prison. And we want to know if that is greater than, significantly greater, than the known fact about the, the proportion of deaths amongst uh, non-aboriginal. And so here, finally, is what a statement of maybe a confidence interval problem would be. Find the 92% confidence interval for the proportion of deaths of Aboriginal prisoners. Here's another example that appears on the Internet. The length of lumber is supposed to be 8.5 feet. A builder wants to check whether the shipment of lumber that she received has a mean length uh, different from 8.5 feet. So we identify what the population is the lumber in the one shipment. The variable that we're interested in is the length of each piece of lumber. The parameter that we're interested in is the mean length of all the lumber in the shipment. So then we've got to determine whether this is a hypothesis test or a confidence interval. In this case, it's a hypothesis test. The builder wants to determine if it's different, 0.5 feet, mean, of the population is different than 8.5 feet. Certainly the mean of the sample is. Now she's got to decide whether that population is. That leads to a hypothesis. This is going to be a two-tailed test. The research hypothesis is that the mean <coughs> of a population of all the lumber in that one shipment is different than 8.5. 